to man. Peyton Manning stepping out. It's the Zion Show. Pass is caught by Joe. The clouds have broken up. The rain has stopped, and ACC fans have made their way to Raleigh, North Carolina. Carter Finley sold out. More than 60,000 expected for this matchup between the Clemson Tigers and the Wolfpack of NC State. Come on inside, everybody. The fourth quarter, when the game's on the line, you talk about taking blows and punching back. Three touchdowns, two turnovers in the fourth quarter. You talk about getting it done. That's getting it done, man. I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of you. I'm almost speechless. I know that's hard for y'all to believe. <laughs> Dabo Sweeney tuning them up and turning them loose, getting ready for this game. NC State comes in with a record of four and five. Clemson six and three. Tom O'Brien all set in his third year at NC State, building the program, 89 and 63 is his record. Clemson won the toss and elected to receive. Will they kick to C.J. Spiller? The answer is no. Ball's loose and recovered by Clemson at the third. That ball's still bouncing around Ball's Tim. still loose. Looks like Clemson got it. We'll wait and see. Great strategy. Squib kick. Anything but kick it to 28. And I think that'll be what we have all day. Our referee today is Tom McCreesh, and he says the Tigers have it. And so they'll mark it at the 37-yard line. Here's another look, Doc. The ball's kind of just bouncing around. You want to get security on it. You can see it right at the bottom. It kind of squirts out. Like it was recovered by Casey Noble. So here's a look at Kyle Parker, your starting quarterback, 6'1", 200-pound freshman, replaced Cullen Harper under center. Chad Deal along with C.J. Spiller on first down. They're going to get a lot of this guy today. Looks for a hole. Tap dances across the 40. Out to the 44-yard line. Tackled there by Bishop. Our CPI security starting lineups. And Clemson is loaded offensively. We talked about Spiller. Jacoby Ford can flat out fly. Die, Ash, and Palmer. Up front, they're big, they're strong, and they give a lot of protection. Harrison, Austin, Freeman, McLean, and Walker. Walker, 6'6", 305 pounds at tackle. Second down and call it six. This is Palmer. He's got the first down to midfield. A gain of seven. Palmer, both teams really utilized the tight end. Willie Young could attract a lot of attention. He jumped up. He went through it. Palmer right through his arm. Palmer, you see with the catch, the turn. You'll see Allen also on the receiving end. Good group of tight ends. Big group of tight ends. 6'5", 6 6'4", 6 and 6'4 and a half. State shows blitz. They come backside. This is Spiller, and he's got nowhere to go. Great penetration by NC State. Michael what Lemon attack. started, what and he got attack. there first. Woo! Oh, my goodness. A loss of two as we look at the defense. There's Lemon. He just made that play. Burgess Cash and Willie Young. You'll get a heavy dose of Willie at 6'4", 250. Lucas Maddox and Cole in the middle. The secondary has been makeshift, looking for volunteers. Wilson, Johnson, Bishop, and today Bird gets the start. Seven different lineups in that defensive backfield. Empty backfield. Second and a long 12. Throw underneath, incomplete, intended for Spiller. That's a good job of forcing the issue. Maddox on the blitz, and one thing Mike Archer wasn't going to do was sit back and let the Tigers dictate to him. That pressure, he was the guy putting pressure on Kyle Parker. It'll bring up third and 13. The Tigers, number four in the ACC in scoring offense. It is prolific. Out of the gun. Empty backfield, they need 13. This is Parker. He's got time underneath the spiller. Great pursuit by the Wolfpack, and they're not going to get the first. Michael. 
gash right in there. Defensive lineman, 291 pounds. And Mike Archer said this guy was invaluable to his team. A little spy technique. Willie coming around the corner. See, when you get 28 spinning with the football, great things happen, but not this time. But what a pursuit angle by all, everybody in company for the Wolf Pack making the big play. Bobby Floyd got there first. He was in that nickel position, and he was spying Spiller. High tail wagger. It'll take him inside the 10. And it'll be fair caught at the six yard line. A 41 yard punt. Four and a half seconds of hang time. Our CPI security starting lineups Baker, Gentry, Spencer, Williams, and the big tight end, Brian. Offensive line Vermiglio, Williams, Larson, Barbie, and McCuller. They call him the surge. He's 6'7, 325. Corn fed and hand spanked. <laughs> it's a, a power surge. That's a big one. So we get our first look at Russell Wilson. He doesn't make a whole lot of mistakes. He had that streak of 379 passes without a pick. Straight ahead, big hole for Baker. Closed down quickly. But he's out to about the eight. Game is seven. Take a look at this defensive starting lineup for Clemson. Across the front, Goodman, Jenkins, Thompson, and Sapp. Ricky Sapp is ninth in the ACC with four sacks. Alexander, Mabe, and Connor are your linebackers. They know the difference between come here and sick. And the Chancellor, McDaniel, Gilchrist, and Butler in the secondary. McDaniel's got eight interceptions this year. This is Baker again. A good stop, Connor. Two good plays for Connor. Great job filling in. Second time he's been able to find the ball. And you watch uh, Ricky Sapp beats the block, gets good pursuit. Great tenacity. You're going to get a show today if you like defensive end play between Young and Sapp. Brings up third down and one as you look at Sapp. He's 6'5, 240. Tore his ACL last November, but he is solid and stronger than ever. See what they've done on third down conversions this year. Gentry comes in with Baker. Now they slide him to the side. They power right. Trying to get two. Spinning, turning, driving, and second effort has the first and even more. McDaniel came out of the strong safety spot to make the tackle, but they'll move the chains. But Dana Bible can draw it up, and he's among the best to do it, but it comes down to heart. That was a hard run. Guy just made up his mind. Well, I want to get this, keep this drive alive. That was a great effort, and that's what NC State needs today. A to keep Spiller and Ford on the sidelines. Doc Baker is one of the all-time great stories. He missed almost two full seasons with a knee injury, had a couple of surgeries. We met with him yesterday. Very smart, congenial guy. Love to talk with him. It's good to see him back and doing well. Although that time he had nowhere to run. He ran right <laughs> smack into Brandon May. Brandon May, I love his style. He, he brings joy to the game. If you're old school football, you like guys who attack the ball with reckless abandonment. You're going to like watching Brandon May work. Oh, this defense will play with reckless abandon. Tigers lead the league in sacks. They've got 24. Lead the league in tackles for a loss. Ranked second in the ACC, giving up only 17 points a game. This defense will get after you. Yeah, they're well schooled. You know, and we talked a lot with, with Kevin Steele, does a super job of making sure these kids know what he expects of them. Wilson out of the gun needs nine. Got time, has it blocked, it almost picked off. Boy, Sapp was sitting out there. The ball hit almost at his feet. So in so much time you're going to have with this group. You mentioned their ability to get to the quarterback. I think it was Kevin Alexander who comes in. Oh, a great rush inside. Could have had some cloth. There was some cloth that was held on that play as well. <laughs> Got away with one on that. That could have been 15. It's a good Super play move. as long as you don't get caught. Well, you know, that's the two, two bases of it. Talked about this defense. How about these numbers? Man. Head of the class there, buddy. No question about it. So this puts the Wolf Pack in a tough spot. They need nine on third down. Baker throws deep. And almost complete. But unable to hold on out there is Carl George. Ah, Russell 
Wilson gives you a chance. That's all you're going to ask for. Good pressure. Sap here to control. Watch how this ball ends up. And that's that's good defensive back play as far as I'm concerned. And happy that you don't usually see a flag on that. But Chris Chandler was where he needed to be. Great job. George had it in his hands though. You think that's a tough catch. But yeah. If he makes it they're rolling. So state the punt. Jeff Ruiz gets off a short kick that'll hit by the 40 and go out of bounds. <laughs> I don't blame him. <laughs> We're going to see that all day. 35 yard punt. Now it's time to take a timeout and go out and get some of the pulled pork. Whoa. Oh, my good. Been a festive day here in Raleigh, North Carolina, Carter Finley Stadium. Everybody's enjoying it because the rain has finally gone away. Our first and 10 line brought to you by CPI Security. See how CPI can protect your home and your family at CPISecurity.com. Doc, I understand what they're doing, not kicking it to Spiller, but they cannot afford to continue to give Clemson this kind of field position to start drives. Now I would. I would not mess with Spiller. Parker's going deep. Oh, what a pass. The question is, is he in? No, it was intended for Ford, but he was out of bounds. Great adjustment to the ball. Tremendous coverage out there by Audie Cole, the linebacker, and that's a tough matchup. Well, we're looking at some skills here. It starts with good protection. Coaching point would be to the receiver, who's a terrific kid, kind of keep that vertical stem. Don't take yourself out of bounds. Give your quarterback some room to drop that in right over your right shoulder. Boy, that was close. That was close, and that was the matchup they wanted. They wanted Ford on the linebacker Cole. Second down and 10. McKean comes in. Lemon goes out for NC State. This is Spiller looking for a hole. He's got one. Breaks a tackle. Down to the 40. Breaks another tackle. Down to the 30. And finally knocked out of bounds at the 29-yard line by Jarvis Bird. A gain of 30. And he comes up gimping. Yeah, and it, it, you watch this now watch the hole what's going to happen is that he's going to get up in that hole and make some things happen with his agility his ability to break tackles arm tackles don't go he gets some help outside by Jones and the rest is history and this is why this young man is being mentioned as a Heisman Trophy candidate because there's nothing he can't do on the field but he came up limping they go out of the shotgun Spillers out of the game here's the screen this is Harper and Harper down to the 25. So we'll try to find out Spiller and how serious that is. A gain of four. Came in the game limping. The guy's beat up. You get pulled down. He's coming in with a bad toe. We watched him a week ago. I mean, he, he was laboring between plays, but once the ball got under his arm, he was flying. Well, Harper stays in the game, Doc, on second and six. This is Harper. He pushes the pile up to the 20. Yeah. That's that to me is the strongest thing any offense can do when they can get you between the creases between those tackles and control you that that's pretty hard to beat because it's going to ultimately set up play action. Spiller comes back into the ball game. That was a gain of five and a half. Harper's a load. He's 230 trimmed down in the offseason. You'll see our Liberty mutual scoreboard throughout the game. Keep you updated on all the scores throughout the conference and throughout the nation on third and one. Spiller, right side. He's hit hard, but he's got the first. Boy, if he just squeezed in behind Thomas Austin, it would have been even bigger. Audie Cole, the second leading tackler, a gold glove boxer, tattooed Spiller coming through. Take a look at O'Reilly Auto Parts Red Zone. Better parts, better prices every day. As they move down into the red zone, we'll bring you how they do. 22 possessions, 18 touchdowns, two field goals, but they've struggled defensively the last two games. Parker on first, pumps, throws to the corner. Look out. Almost oh, intercepted. Oh. What a great play by Clem Johnson. Now that this young man's a freshman, but you can tell on this play. You talk about getting over there. 
They cover it. Now, good route. At this point, the ball's there. It's touchdown advantage win. Look at that elevation. Almost holds on. Cliff Johnson, six foot, 200 pound freshman, playing like a veteran. Well, he had it till he hit the ground. Almost had. Yep. That's covered ground. Yeah. Jacoby Ford was open. Ball was delivered late. Brings up second down and ten. Spiller. Spiller. And a heavy dose of Spiller to the 11. You talk about yaks, yards after contact, picks up eight. Yeah, you mentioned Landon Walker, 72, and the icicle white and orange. Now you look at him, here he is over here. Now watch this. That's like pulling out a, tra a trail, McLean 74. I mean, I might have been able to get through that one with a little help. This defense gives up a whole lot of points. They give up 30 a game. Trying to bow their backs and make a stop here. Knocked away and incomplete. That ball was in the air a long Lemon. time. And again, it's Michael Lemon. <laughs> I tell you what. He made the two biggest plays last week against Maryland. Had a sack in a hurry in the last 30 seconds. Trying to penetrate the line. If not, elevate. If he doesn't slip, I know in his mind he feels like he would have gotten there. Second time today the Wolfpack have been able to get in that passing lane and create a good play. Penetrate and elevate, right there, baby. Either or. This is Spencer Benton. And it's from 28 yards. Low line drive and it splits the sticks for three. So with 6.04 remaining in the first, Clemson scores first. We'll be back after a word from your local stations. Well, they call this game the Textile Bowl. The textile industry has such an economic impact on both of these states. They celebrate with this game. But South Carolina and North Carolina both benefit from the textile industry. So we'll try to thread some of those messages right through this ball game this oh, afternoon. Yeah. I like that. I like that. We're on a roll. Nine plays, 48 yards, took three minutes and 18 seconds, and then the 28-yard field goal by Spencer Benson. Well, that's a drive that they, they, they left points off the board. I mean, that's something you can't accept that. They had too many, they cut big plays, but you only end up with three points. Well, let's go, this ball will go through for the touchback. Spiller had nine, uh, 39 yards rushing on that drive, Doc. And I just don't believe you can continue to give them that field position by kicking away from them and starting almost near the well, field. But if you only render three points in the process, you got to give it. And Clem Johnson, while well, him an apology, he had to see, you know what? No, 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 no reason why he got over there so quick. Guy knows what he's doing. But he's surrounded by all those babies and he's covering it back. Here's Wilson. Wilson rolls, throws. It was intended for Williams. I thought he dropped the ball. And he did. But that uh, he looked, took his eyes off the ball and looked to see where he was going to get hit. Yeah, and they need a big play too. 33 receptions on the year. You, you roll out the pocket on the run. I mean, it's right there. And he just fought it. He was fighting it. But that's what happens when you have those tomahawk hitters in the secondary. Yeah, no, no question. <laughs> he felt McDaniel. Oh, pump. yeah. Yeah, he was anticipating punishment. So Wilson's got to give him a little what for in the huddle because they're dropping some passes for him. Yeah. Here's the give to Eugene, and Eugene straight ahead picks up five quick ones. <laughs> So it'll bring up third down and five. May and Gilchrist on the tackle for Clemson. First downs, Tim, are so important for the Wolfpack. If for nothing other than to keep Jacoby and Spiller on the sideline. I agree with you. You know, and if you can, that, that's why I really felt that holding them to three was highly important. Still in this. You can still turn this thing around. No, no question about it. Holding them to three there I thought was a victory for oh, State. Yeah, absolutely. And you're right about the offense today for NC State. It becomes their best defense. So Wilson needs five for the first. Rolls, he's got trouble, looks down deep, and it's incomplete. He was intended for Spencer, but broken up by Gilchrist, and there's a flag at the end of the play. Man, Wilson had such touch. The only way he could get that pass in was to drop it in. Owen Spencer, their deep threat. 
Pass interference. Number 12 for the defense. 15 yards in the previous line of scrimmage. Automatic first half. It all starts for the Clemson Tigers with pressure. Here you see Ricky Sapp and Brandon May coming after Russell Wilson. Let's see if we can see or detect the contact. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He was riding him early. Yeah, he rode him. He rode him. And I usually fight real hard for DBs because I think it's an injustice. Well, Wilson, because of the sap deal, had to throw it early yeah. and kind of float it. There was it. some contact. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And by right. floating it, yeah. good call. I think Spencer slowed down and that caused the mm -hmm. interference. First down, Wilson on the naked boot. He's got a big hole. He's got a first down and knocked out of bounds inside Clemson territory by Marcus Gilchrist. A gain of 12. The other part of his game that we don't necessarily spend a lot of time with because he'd rather toss it. But when he gets out, if he outflanks you, you know, you're in trouble. And if you're a Tiger, whenever a quarterback gets free, you want him on the ground. You want him to pay for running out of that pocket. So that time he won, he didn't get dirty, and he picked up yardage. Wilson does bring a swagger to this offense. Oh, he does. In a calm sense. Yeah, absolutely. And he still has two more years. Frightening. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Eugene couldn't even get going before he was hit by Jarvis Jenkins. They're inside players. All really good defensive units have interior play. Their tackles don't give up gaps. They they get after you. I mean, they're a force, and they've got two good ones. Lost four yards there. Pack coming off that emotional win over Maryland last week at Bird Stadium. Dana Bible doesn't script his plays. He feels it. Tries to get into a rhythm. There's some movement there. And the Clemson Tigers are hard to get in rhythm against. All start. Yeah. Number 58 in the offense. Five yards. It remains second down. I've never understood how Ted Larson or any center really can move before the snap. He's the guy snapping it. And yeah, that gun, though, Timmy. So you when you played back in the day with no hey, face we bands, go. No, here really. We go. You didn't run shotgun a here lot. You had single wing, but you. <laughs> I'm surprised you remember single wing. I'm a historian, man, when it comes to this gridiron. <laughs> Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Here's a throw down, and that's, that's intercepted. Off. Intercepted. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, they said Hall was out of bounds. Let's take another look at it. But Richard Hall made a, Richard Hall rather, made a nice play on this ball. Watch Flo 31. Floating and watch the his ball feet, out. Doc. Floating the ball out. The old tip drill. No. Didn't have didn't even have the ball. No, he needs a receiver to make a big catch for him. Oh, will you he'll, he'll tap you. Oh yeah, he's got five picks. Mm -hmm. He will tap you. With an interception, he'll set the record for picks in consecutive games, at least one in five straight. Wilson now 0 for 4. He's had two drops. This is third and long. Throwing deep again. And this one is picked off. It's picked off by Byron Maxwell. Well, he went to the well one time too many. And with those long and long balls out there against this crew, this crew go their ball hawks. 20th interception of the year. You said they went to the well too often. Yep. It was Maxwell that makes the pick. 3 nothing Clemson. Back in Raleigh, Clemson up 3-0. Mike Hawkwood down here on the sidelines. Kyle Parker was very upset with himself coming off the field after that last series. Tim and Doc, he's been a big reason. They've been on a four-game winning streak. And what I like about his leadership is his accountability. He was upset that he underthrew a couple of passes on that last series. Well, he's also upset that he hadn't been able to really get Spiller going, although Spiller has 43 yards already. NC State's offense has total 30. So he's already outrushed the pack. Another big game on first down. Puts him in admirable shape here for second down. Ellington in the game now. Parker drops, throws, incomplete. Pressure. See, that's what pressure does. And that time, Allen Michael Cash in on the event one more time. Dwayne Allen was looking. He said, hey, I was open. Get it to me. But he didn't realize there was a lot of pressure on Parker. That's right. He had a helmet in his grill. 
So that'll bring up a critical third down. Tigers one for three on third down possessions today. Out of the gun. Pack comes with a blitz. Step up, caught. And Dye takes it all the way down for the first down to the 47-yard line. Xavier Dye. And see, that's what they needed. They need the, another guy to come into the pitcher. Ford was going to be, they're going to have a bracket on him. And for some reason, that ball just kind of went. Looked like it was an opportunity to pick it off, but threw it right on line. Good catch and throw. So they get the first. This is Spiller. And he's thrown down rather rudely. Good tackle by Augustin. Augustin, rather. Yeah, Augie's a, the up and comer. Trades a lot of time with Willie Young. Another one of the Floridians, a guy who can come off the edge with attitude. Audio Augustin is 6'2, 253. Look at Duke leading Georgia Tech 10 to 7. Mm -hmm. Duke trying to stay alive. They want to go bowling. Georgia Tech with a win. Wins the division. And a trip to Tampa. Motion man is Ash. Second down and nine. This is Spiller. Looks for a hole. Spiller brought down short of midfield by Brandon Bishop. Boy, Bishop really saved him some yardage because C.J. Wilson, the cornerback, kind of committed to the tackle. He wouldn't have made it happen. This is the benefit of Spiller. He can bounce. He's got vision, acceleration. But that time, run down by Bishop. Good play. Third down and eight. They're on their feet at Carter Finley. Parker has time, throws over the middle, and it's complete for another first down, Clemson. Passes caught by Michael Palmer, a gain of 22, and for Palmer, that's his 24th reception of the year. He is special. At this time, it took Kyle Parker. He has showed no fear, stayed right in the pocket. Now watch the, the end of this. Boy, there's a high IQ guy going up, catching it right at the point. Tuck, come down with it. And he has done this on a regular basis. Michael Palmer, he's a keeper. He is. He's the first Clemson tight end to get 20 catches since 1984. Spiller, big hole. And C.J. Spiller to the 18. Close to another first down. Clem Johnson makes the tackle as the final 15 seconds tick off here in the first quarter. No hurry to get this playoff as they bring in Terrence Ash as a wide receiver. You know, Tim, the pack have kept him in third down, but just haven't been able to get out of it. And that'll do it for the first 15. End of the first quarter, Clemson scored first, and the Tigers lead 3-0. But they are threatening again. Well, it's the holiday season, and nobody celebrates that better than the Marine Corps of the United States. This is Toys for Tots. It started way back in 1947 by Major Bill Hendricks in Los Angeles, and Marine retired Lieutenant General H.P. Osmond is here today collecting toys. And Marines were trying their hand to see how they could do here by putting that ball through the hoop. And there's a former Marine himself, Tom O'Brien in his third year at state. He was a major in the Marine Corps, went to the Naval Academy, and he's also on the board of Toys for Tots. Great cause. Really, you know, we do a lot in D.C. with that, Timmy. I know I've seen you involved in a number of things with Toys for Tots. That's when I get together with Obi every year in yeah. June when they have the big Toys for Tots yeah. celebration up in D.C. Oh, that's good. Tom O'Brien on the board there, and that will move the chains. It's a gain of two, and they only needed one, so they'll move the chains. Take a look at O'Reilly Auto Parts Red Zone. Better parts, better prices every day. And you see what they've done here offensively. The Tigers have been effective. 36 possessions and 16 touchdowns, <laughs> 12 field goals. Explosive. You very rarely have the ability to stop them down here. 
by running downhill. Parker now under center. Palmer in motion. Fake to Spiller. This is Ford. Look out. Ford inside the 10. Cuts back against the green. Touchdown, Clemson. Jacoby Ford. Big block by Donald Palmer. A run of 17. And you know you're going to see it. It's just a matter of when. I mean, they definitely did not catch him by surprise. It's the execution that deserves a lot of merit. Now, you get great blocks inside. Landon Walker just sealed the inside. Tight end, of course. Palmer, another great play. And then you watch Dye. If those guys on the edge give you superior effort, you will score a lot of touchdowns. Like it was choreographed. They were dancing down the sidelines. That was well done. Extra point is good. And the Tigers are up 10 0. Well, they said it's either Spiller or Ford. We got to stop them both. But on that 17 year old run, they didn't stop them at all. You know, and I'll look at this and think about those third down situations. The NC State put Clemson in, but they couldn't stop them. They have got to get a big play on third down defensively or score. Johnson will down it for the touchback and he'll bring it out to the 20. Terrific facilities here at it NC really State. Is, yeah. Tom O'Brien's going to have a nice program here once he gets everybody healthy and gets all his players in. Wilson on first down, steps up into the pocket and throws. Incomplete. And again, there was a lot of bumping and grinding mm -hmm. and attention intended for Owen Spencer. Take a look at our progress energy first quarter statistics. Can't really not that much running. difference, huh? Well, the passing yard. Well, what NC State needs now is a wide receiver to step up. We've seen Williams, who's bobbled one. They don't have a guy now that wants to take over or get the ball going back to Brian. But at this point, the guy's out here playing by himself. Well, Russell Wilson, 0 for 6, Doc. He's got to find some kind of rhythm. This is a flag and this might be motion. He's had time too, Tim. I mean he he's had enough time. Full start. Number 64 of the offense. Five yard penalty. It remains second down. Let's go downstairs to Mike. Mike. Well, one of the things that's really helped this state offense in recent weeks is the establishment of a running game. And how about Tony Baker who missed two years with a knee injury. He is back. They say he's as strong, as fast as ever. It's an amazing testament to this young man, what he went through. But what a couple of games he has had in really reigniting this NC State offense. You're exactly right, Mike. Tigers now come be Chavis Branch and Sap across that defensive line to get fresh legs in there. Straight ahead they go. Gain of four, not quite back to the original line of scrimmage. Georgia Tech now has taken the lead over Duke and a win there will give them the title of their division and Florida State whooping up on Wake Forest today that's your Liberty Mutual scoreboard will update you throughout the game on all the scores throughout this conference and throughout the country well you got third and 12 and you don't have a go to receiver I would say draw don't like that I put it in Wilson's hands and let him see if he can use his feet if look out nothing zero Oh my, Miguel Chavis, who came in for this series, gets the sack. That's another loss of eight. Well, the NC schedule. State's going in the wrong direction. They're just off schedule. I mean, you had Lawson with a penalty, two offensive linemen with infractions, then you get a jailbreak here. You got receivers dropping the ball. They got to get a wake up call on their offense because we've seen them score at will. I mean, we saw them against Florida State scoring every, on every possession. They've got to snap out of it. You can't fool around here, Doc. You got to punt this ball. And I know that Spiller and Ford are standing <laughs> in midfield, but you cannot fool around. I'm not punting to it. Now, well, that's what happens if you don't. And that'll probably be marked at about the 24 yard line. You're right. Actually, worse than that, it's going to be inside the 20 and all the way down to the 17. You're right again. The place is packed. And they haven't given up on the Wolfpack yet either. But if you look at the starting field position, Doc, you can't do this with the Tigers. Yeah, but it shows you the impact of a great player. Even if he doesn't touch the ball, he influences what you do. And that's why the guy's an, a legitimate Heisman candidate. I mean, look at how he's influenced the ball game. But I'd rather, I agree with you, I'd rather have 
Spiller and the great player beat me than to give it to him, though. Well, he's going to beat you. Because, I mean, you got a punter score. and you tell him punt away, you're taking him out of his rhythm and what yeah. he tries to do. That last punt was six yards. Yeah, well, I'm swinging more to your way now. This could be option pass. Spiller into the end zone. Die. Touchdown, Clemson. We've seen him do it so often. And when he's not hit accelerating around the corner, you're in for double trouble. Because they like to check up and have him toss it. At this point, change the direction. They scored on the reverse on the last possession. And he throws a dunk. But it goes right in the end zone. And uh, they're starting to pour it on. Boy, he sold it, too. He tucked it away like he was running it. And the floodgates are now opening. Good snap, good hold. The extra point is good. And just like that, it's 17-0 Clemson. Well, the drive started in the red zone. Spiller to die. Bingo, 17-zip. Yards. The punt was six yards, and the touchdown took six seconds. Spiller to die. 17 yards, and you see the first four possessions. Okay, you convinced me. Let's see if Clem Johnson here can get a return. He should. Four yards deep. And gets it out to the 19-yard line. Let's go back to that touchdown. We want to show you Wilson, who's the corner here, and then you've got the safety in here, Johnson. And watch what's going to happen. What happens at this point is, is that he will come down in an angle that's flat, and that angle is a bad angle. Then you get caught up at the corner, touchdown. I mean, that's stealing. The run fake forced the corner up in Wilson, and Clem Johnson took a bad angle, and the band is playing for the Clemson Tigers. Yeah, and that's, uh, I mean, you've got you've to have a football IQ, yeah. and Johnson is a senior. Yes, indeed. He's playing like it. Straight ahead, Baker falls down. This is a uh, correction. That's Eugene, and uh, that's not the way to start a drive. Minus one. But I like the fact that they decided to get back to the running game and maybe choke down some time, get something positive going. Had to be what Davis thinking because the air game. He doesn't have anybody that has stood up yet. Well, Doc, we saw this ball club score 42 points down in Tallahassee four weeks ago, and they average. 33 so I mean at some point you think the offense is going to kick in oh and I'm sure it, it, it will but you just want to have a fighting chance to win the ball game Eugene again finds a hole stays on his feet still on his feet and pushes the pile out across the 30 Wow Jamel Eugene does everything he can to motivate this ball club senior last shot out man trying to fight and claw you know these kids want to have a bold opportunity Good leg, good vision. See, he saw the hole. A lot of guys run into the back of the lineman. He didn't. What he did was found the hole and showed great acceleration. Oh, Russell gives you indication. Tackle made by McDaniel and a whole host of Clemson Tigers. But a great run by Eugene. Not much there this time. Glenn Wilson had kept that one. He'd been still running. Jenkins got there first. Well, Russell's had a drop, and this one is about to be intercepted. So he's had near interceptions and then a lot of pressure. Been on his back more than he'd like. He's 0 for 6 with one interception. So the young sophomore is struggling a little bit early, and his receivers aren't helping him. Here's a little boot action. Steps up, looks for a receiver. There's his first. No, he's uh -huh. dropped. Uh -huh. Good to see him. Oh, it hits Spencer between the one and the three. And you know what happens is that when you get into this little bit of a rut, they're in now. That's the second uncontested drive. Yeah, but you can snap out of it. They're pressuring. You know they want to win. Great crowd here, trying too hard. Doesn't look it in. He wasn't, it's not like he was going to catch and turn and run. He was on his knees. So all he had to do was focus on the football, and they're trying too hard at this point. Went right through his hands. You need one guy to make a play, and you snap right out of it. So it'll bring up third down and 12. Wolfpack just one for four third down conversions this afternoon. 
Again, Wilson will use his legs and he'll be sacked. My goodness. Man. And there should be a flag down there. Alexander. Alexander. Did that hit hit yep. Did he get around the neck area? That's the question. Personal foul. Number 20 in the defense. 15 yards for you in the run. First down. So the first down will help. Call 20. I thought it was Kevin Alexander, 24. It was. Take another look at it. He comes in. Oh, yeah. That's blatant at that point. And, and of course, Brandon May comes in at the end. Yeah, Julian Williams just get, didn't get a paw on him. So he came in unblocked. But he had a bad angle. And then Brandon May with the exclamation mark, which is, was late and rightfully called. Here's a look at Kevin Steele, defensive coordinator. He came from Alabama. Dabo Sweeney, of course, grew up idolizing legendary Alabama head coach Bear Bryant. Grew up near Birmingham. He was a walk-on, earned a scholarship, closed a storybook career there by winning a national championship. And he joined the staff as a graduate assistant and became a full-time coach at the age of 26. It's following your dream, man. Following your dream. If you can dream it. And you believe it, it can happen. It's a new life for NC State. First down. Wilson rolls right. There's his first completion. Let's see if it gets him going. Uh, it's got to. Catch made by Paul George. Gain of nine. It just takes a little bit of pressure off everyone's back. And we'll take a look at him. You know, he kind of hangs in a little. He's lucky they're in zone. You'd like to be a little more precise, be crisp, get to where you want to go, but hey, if the results to count. That might be a key here, Doc. You mentioned zone. It was a soft zone. And with that lead, we'll see if they soften up. Certainly didn't on that play. Connor and May got there in a hurry. And you know what I mean, though? You get that 17 point cushion. Pull back a little bit, just keep everything in front of you. Well, you know, you look at the scoreboard and you go, wow, this is not good, but one score. And you're looking at 17 7 and then and then hope. And this crowd, keep this crowd going. They've got great fans here at Carter Finley. So you want to get the advantage of having the 12th man. Haven't really been successful on third down conversions. One for four today. They did have a penalty on that last one, so they got the break in the first down. And they pick up the first here. Got a good mark up at the 45. Gain of three, they only needed two. I want to see Wilson start turning it loose. Here's Eugene again. Doc, I'm wondering what happened to Tony Baker. We haven't seen Tony Baker in quite a while. No, we got to get the hog patrol on that one to figure out. Yeah, Jamel Eugene getting all the, the carries, and he picks up six. He's good back. We've seen a lot of them when they play in tandem. But you can sense a little bit of momentum. They stayed on the ground. You got one completion. I mean, they're asked to that offensive line. Big, strong, physical group. They might be on to something. There's a look at Tony. Doesn't seem to be bothered by anything other than not being on the field. Dana Bible yesterday said they just kind of go by gut feeling. They've got a rotation. They try to get everybody reps. Here's Wilson over the middle, incomplete. That's on Wilson. They could have made that one a little easier. That was a pretty good effort in there by Davis to go get it. But again, that's what happens when you're struggling. You need a great play, you know, and you just don't get it. It's not under pressure. And I take that back, Russ. I think that ball's got to yeah, be Yeah, Davis, you got to catch that. Ball's we in his full, hands. We're feeding you full scholarships, so you got to catch that one. <laughs> Let's go down to Mike. Mike, what do you have? We're talking about uh, Tony Baker, Jamel Eugene. They have absolutely gone one for one, alternating series. This just happens to be Eugene's turn on this series. All right, way to keep us honest. This is the 10th play coming up in this drive. Blitz. Throw underneath of it. It's dropped. And here comes a flag. Spencer called for the flag and he got one. So this will bring another first down for the Wolfpack. May is an attack dog. And I think when you have a reputation, sometimes, you know, it goes against you. Because some of this is football. And then some, if it's flagrant, you got to call it. 
Pass interference. Number 20 in the defense. The ball in place at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. <laughs> He's been contact in the five yard area. Now we'll watch him right here at the bottom. Okay, yes. Yes, good call. But at the end, I mean, that's just Brandon being Brandon. And Tony Baker now comes back into the game. One of the greatest high school running backs to come out of this state. He continues to climb the list of all time career rushing yards here at NC State moved ahead of Charlie Young the last time we saw him. Nothing there squirms ahead makes something out of nothing and picks up two. again Brandon Bay is there to stop him. Yeah kind of got off his guard off the read a little too soon on that one. <laughs> Brandon Bay if there's action he's around it and that's the way you want your middle linebacker. He just loves the feel of a good hit. Yeah. You know, a great hit in football is almost like a great hit in golf. You know that little click feeling that you have when you really get it? Don't have that many big collections of. I tell you what, yeah. baby, that just click. I can feel it. It's coming your way. <laughs> oh, I'm, wor I'm working on it. <laughs> Over the middle, this is complete. And a big gainer. This is Howard all the way down inside the 20 to the 17 yard line. Stephen Howard, a gain of 16. That's what they needed. You needed somebody to step up, be a hero. Good pass for a ball. A little bit behind, but go back and get it. And that's exactly what he did. Good run, throw and catch for the Wolfpack. A little bit of a hurry up to yep. try to keep the rhythm. Wilson pump fakes, throws to the corner, wide open. Touchdown State. Royal George with a touchdown. A gain of 18 and the Wolfpack on the board. You say Dan the Bible was feeling how he does his way by a gut feel. Well, that time he felt it. Called a great play. Little pump action there. And that's what made the difference. You get the bite and you get the touchdown. Sets the ball bought and he never caught up. Boy, that was a good one. And why not? They hadn't thrown anything like it all day, but hitting short sweet passes and just like that. Pack it back. Kowski with the extra point. And it's a 10 point ball game with 642 to play in the second quarter. Here again, they don't let any return out of it, so Clemson will have good field position. Ball's loose. The Tigers get it back. That NC State drive, 12 plays, 80 yards, 559. The 18 yard pass to George, but. They almost got it back right here, Doc. Well, Manning, here comes down, delivers the blow. Well, that's a cruncher. That ball is out. Well, Cole's not used to not used to carry the ball. Second time that's happened in the ball game. They opened up the opening kickoff. They were able to get the ball on the ground. Got to give credit though. He got on that ball once he lost yep. it. You want to face Dabo if you lose that ball. Amen. 6.37 to play in the first half, Doc. Let's see if NC State can make a stop here yeah. defensively. Let's see if this, this, the time off hurts them on all offense in their timing. Spiller. Great balance as he comes across the 40, but taken down hard. Boy, My Bird, man, Bird comes in with a real nice hit. Now you see C.J. Spiller showing you his ability as a running back. He came in hurt, probably aggravated, but can you tell on this? Boy, watch those moves. And he can also beat you by air. There to pass to die. Triple threat. He's feeling it, though. You see what he's done today. Outstanding talent. Yeah, you were a quarterback in but high school. Hurt. Played quarterback freshman year at Maryland. Yeah. Second down at 11, ball on the 42. Parker double pump still buys some time by Roland. Looks to the sideline and incomplete. If he picked up, might be better not to have that one. Ash made a nice catch, couldn't get his feet down. Did the face mask bother you from throwing when, you, when he first got it? No, the leather helmets didn't have them. Well, she did that. Got a flag down here, and it looks like it's going to go against Clemson. CJ still got a little hitch in his giddy up. Ineligible lineman downfield, number 74 of the offense. Five yards from the previous spot, 
They made second down. So Tom McCreesh gets it straightened out. Well, C.J. Spiller has his own website. The Clemson Tigers pushing him for that Heisman Trophy. And I'll tell you, Doc, he should be mentioned. There's no question what he's done in his career is unbelievable. And as a Heisman candidate, he certainly is one. Look at his career numbers. Now, you believe Tim Tebow, of course, has got to be on that list. He's one of the best. Mm -hmm. But as you look at what C.J.'s done, I mean, he's right up with Case Keenum and Mark Ingram. Colt McCoy, of course, is a favorite. C.J. Spiller, Kellen Moore, Toby Gerhardt, all those guys are on that list. And it's a very short list, but C.J. Spiller is still on it. All I needed to know is that his numbers were equal to that of Reggie Bush. Case closed. Third down and 11. They've been good on third down conversions. They've hit three or five of them. And they hit Michael Palmer the last time they were in this situation. Big defensive play for the Wolfpack. Got pressure. Throwing over the middle. Wide open. Yes, sir. It's Ford, and he's down inside the 10. Jacoby Ford. And that's got to be a byproduct of just using your secondary. How do you call you got a linebacker who's back in the play in, in center field? You get pretty good pressure by Augustine. He comes in there, good inside move, picked up properly. But to, but to have a primary weapon like Jacoby Ford wide open had to be a buff to the side. Gain of 47. Ellington. Down to the five. Let's see what happens right here. Because it's going to come down to a safety. Well, he never adjusted to it. When he turned, took the wrong turn, and that's the recipe for disaster. And in his defense, you've got two sprinters running down. You had to pick one. I think I go with six. Yeah, see, that's a good call. He had I a on both sides. Yeah, but I picked six. He's got a history. Ellington. Back to the original line of scrimmage. Andre Ellington a little undersized to be the feature back, but he's a nice changeup guy. Usually the third down back, but he's got soft hands, tough body, very elusive. Best in space with a burst of speed. Dabo Swinney's got him in there on this drive. While CJ trying to regroup. We got to give Kyle Parker his due. I mean, the kid is making it happen. He is. Big preparation guy. Third down. Back of the end zone. Touchdown. Did he have it? Yes. Michael Palmer with his third touchdown catch of the year. He's a stud. I mean, flat out. Your primary guy. Why I like Clemson offensively is they're all name brand ballers. Palmer, Ford, Spiller. They're not hiding the fact. You know where they're You think you know where they're going. They get over. Watch the catch. Get the foot in. Crank up the band for the Tigers. They'll review it, but I think the video is clear. His foot is down in the back of the end zone. Yeah, well, again, but does he have possession? Yes, rolls on. High IQ guy. Tight end position. I mean, he is really turning out to be a, he does this now on demand. I call him an on-demand performer. Because all you do is call his number, and bingo, he scored for you. Got to wonder how he gets behind everybody in the back of the end zone. Well, you know, if, if it was Allen, or bury one of the backups, I'll give him that. But he's a primary guy. They did it with Ford, they go to him. That means you got a good unit. Got to be thinking, wide is the widest, deep is the deepest. He's well, the deepest. Well, I mentioned Clem Johnson and as, as a freshman. He's a senior, but everybody else in the secondary, a freshman. And that's what happens when you have that much youth on the field at the same time. For NC State, it's been a difficult ride for Tom O'Brien here on the right of your screen. I mean, his offense scores points, 33 a game, but the defense has trouble stopping anybody. And if you fall behind quickly, like they did today, then you're playing catch up the entire way. I mean, that's clear. That should be a catch. I, I saw that from the booth without binoculars. Here's Tom McCreesh. The ruling on the field is confirmed. Touchdown. So with 4.09 to play in the first half, the Tigers extend their lead and try to add one more. Spencer Benton on for the extra point. 
Good snap, good hold, and the extra point is good. Doing the old Tiger rag, enjoying themselves here in Raleigh, North Carolina this afternoon because this first half has been all Clemson. Uh, Rick Doc Walker, one oh, of the all-time greats. Hey, Tim, did you play with a mouthpiece? No, he didn't. Okay. No. Can't you tell? No, I'm just saying. That, that was Alex Ovechkin, be we got the same smile. Johnson at the two. Looks for a hole after the 26. NC State trying to kill the thrill, but not so much in this story. You look at what Clemson's done, you look at their drives, you look at the yards, and you look at the result. They punted once, the rest of them have scored. Field goals and three touchdowns. And NC State, you know, if, they, if, they, if you get too far behind, you can't choke the clock down because you won't have enough time to catch up. They got to score now and hope they can get it in that locker room with the Tigers on idle. Doc, in 20 games played here at Carter Finley between these two schools, they've split 10 and 10. Baker breaks a tackle. Good hard run after the 20 to 34 yard line. Eight of nine. Boy, that's that's strength. When you shake Thompson, who's 305 pounds, I mean that means, and you you, you paid attention to that lower body strength, not only rehabilitation, but maintaining more strength. He had 75 yards on 19 carries last week. 5'10", 225 pounder, and he gets the job done. Here he is again. Looks for a hole, cuts it up. Gets the first down, Jackson and Jenkins and Thompson on the tackle. Tim, I wouldn't be surprised if Dana Bible calls a keeper. They've run that play twice now, and Russell has been out here all alone. He's been on the flank with the blocker, so that might be something they dial up soon. You'd like him to be able to use all of the last 310 of this half. And in a Bible there behind the glass calling the plays. Wilson looking for the slam. Ball was tipped and almost picked off. That's flag. And another flag. Yeah, that, that's a legit one. They're going to say the ball was tipped, though, which it was. And so you can hit him all you want once that ball's tipped. <clears throat> well, if he's held before the There's tip. no foul on the play. The ball was tipped at the line of scrimmage, making the ball legal. Well, I guarantee you Brandon Thompson somewhere around here again. Watch him get, the, get that big paw. Here he is fighting inside. Gets the hand, good hand over. That's just great technique. Up against Lawson, the guy fighting, gets through, gets that hand up, knows where he's at. Solid, solid baller. This was a talented defensive group coming into the season. Mm -hmm. and last year, the Tigers allowed under 300 yards and 18 points a game. That's balling. And with Bowers out, I mean, that's the significance of this. Here's Baker. Around the corner. The 42-yard line. Stop by Alexander. You play for NC State on that offensive line, boy. You better get on your horse because they pull line, they pull big people, they're athletic, and they get out in traffic. Very well done. Liberty Mutual scoreboard tells us that Virginia Tech has jumped up on Maryland 7 0. Two good old friends playing in that one. Yeah. Frank Beamer, Ralph Friedgen. Those two guys were graduate assistants when I was playing on the same staff at Maryland. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Wilson pump fakes has backside pressure gets the completion in the first down how about that nice play by George Brown to go up and get it you don't see a play like this often backside pressure by guess who Ricky Sapp getting away just couldn't get there in time but the tight end coming all the way back on the backside goes up concentrates under a little pressure Connor therefore the Titans. Under two minutes we go. Drive still alive. Wilson's got the corner. He can outrun it. Cross midfield and into Clemson territory. Gain of five. Tim, what Good job by Alexander to chase him and chase him out of bounds. But what do you think was going through his mind when he saw Brandon May was also on that hunt? Oh, yeah. Picked it up a little bit. Oh, yeah, you better. 
and found the sidelines in a hurry. Good pickup on first. It'll bring up second down and four. Don't want to take any timeouts into the locker room with you. They went in the huddle earlier. It seems like it might not be a bad position to get in again. Wilson again rolls. Looks for help. Not going to find it this time. Brandon May again. They had that perimeter flanked. And they used their first time out. Tom O'Brien must walk about field. five miles during the ball game. Time out on the field. We'll take one as well. 142 remaining in the half. Rub the rock. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. C R E M S L E S C I T E R S. Fight, 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 fight. Woo! Doc, we used to go down to Clemson, and when they came and rubbed that rock and ran down that hill. Jerry Clayburn brings us all up the midfield and just let them watch. He said everybody's going to be watching anyway. Let's go up and just salute them when they come down. So we were there to meet them in midfield. Is that right? Absolutely. Right, that's nice. Wilson to throw. He's got company. Gets away from one. Needs some help. Throws it. Incomplete. McDaniel again. Came hard on the blitz. It was intended for Williams. Incomplete. It's all about pressure. Crumby's also out there as well. This is what Clemson does, man. And if you throw McDaniels in on the mix, get a dog, there's sap in pursuit. Wilson trying to make a play. There's too many tigers. I tell you, Wilson did make a play. He that did. Was good play just to throw it away. Mm -hmm. Too many tigers. So the pack has to kick it away. Jeff Ruiz. He'll kick this one. And Spiller's got his eyes on it, but it carries him out of out of bounds. Now that was a good kick. Yeah. You like that? Yeah, I did like that okay. one. 129 remaining in the half, first down and 10. We're starting field position for the Tigers. How about the six yard punt that gave the Tigers the ball first and goal in the red zone, and it took them six seconds to score? Yeah. Yeah, you were right on that. That, that, uh, you take your chances kicking the spiller, but I promise you, if you kick him two and four times, he's going to score one of them. Guarantee you, Tom O'Brien right now, Doc, is just thinking. Let's get out of the final 61 seconds here yeah. without giving up any more points. And a flag comes down. Can't be delay a game. He got it off in plenty of time. Let's see what the penalty is. Here's Tom McCreesh. Dead ball. Illegal snap by the offense. Number 62. Five yard penalty. It remains. Second down. It's the second time we've seen that today. Yeah. Yeah. That time Mason Floyd. Uh, let me see. The I'm trying to figure what way they could get somebody open uh, in this prevent because of the game breakers. And I'm looking for six, and this is Jacoby is on the field. So that means that they, they, it's possible. <laughs> it is possible. You know, Doc, everybody came into the season thinking Virginia Tech had a chance at a national title. Clemson, just 10 points away from being undefeated. That ball, that ball was loose. Was and the whistle had already blown. You know, and I hear people who say that. People go, well, we were only this and that. And I go, yeah, right. That's why they were team one. <laughs> you know, because they were better. But they were close. Yeah, but you can be close. I understand. You know, but this is football. Doc, I hear yeah. you. All the runner-ups have a good reason as to what happened. But the point to that stat is that you played well. No, but, no they're good. Yeah. They're good. But I never bought into this where we only X amount of points out of it. You know, there are a lot of 2-1 baseball games you win, you're still champion. Can you buy into the fact that they have won four straight games? I can buy into the fact that Kyle Parker is playing like a madman. Here's the give. And Harper spins and drives his way across the 30, and that'll end the first half. So the first half has been impressive for the Clemson Tigers. They scored early, they scored 24 points, and they lead 24-7. Here at halftime, great crowd sold out here at Cardi Carter Finley today. Clemson Tigers brought a lot of fans, and the Tigers know with a win today and a Boston College loss, they'll wrap up their division and they'll be heading to Tampa Bay. Let's go downstairs to Mike Hogwood. Mike, pretty productive offensive performance here in the first half. Yeah, I'm proud of the guys. We've had good execution on offense. Spencer Benton has really stepped up for us in the, in the special teams. 
and as far as kickoffs and then defensively, done a really good job except for when we made some mistakes, had a couple penalties that kept that big drive going. I know a lot of folks concerned about C.J. Spiller wasn't in the last couple of series. How is he? Oh, he's all right. He's all right. We got another half football, and uh, he'll, you'll, he'll be back out there ready to go. All right. Okay, thank you. Dabo Sweeney headed to the locker room and some good news about his star running back. His Clemson Tigers on top here at halftime, 24-7. to Spiller left side, breaks a tackle to the 10. C.J. Spiller, see you later. 16 yards. Take a look at the first half, and it was the punting game that set up almost everything, and here comes Jacoby Ford around the corner for the touchdown to yeah. start things off. In our open, the eyes of the Tiger, we mentioned, you got to give Ford his due as well. Equally as dangerous, you put them together, rough, and you, here's your punt. Six-yard punt. This led to a six-second pass play. Did he sell it? That was a great sell. Spiller to die. Tigers on the board yet again. Everything was rolling at that point. Wilson needed to find some points, and he finally got it right here to George, and that got him on the board. But here at halftime, they're still down 24 to 7, and that's never good with Clemson with the football. Now they can score in so many different ways, and this time they get back to Michael Palmer in the end zone, and it just doesn't stop. And of course, the relentless pursuit of Ricky Sapp and company. Doc, you, I just think if you kick away from them, you're giving them great field position. And for Clemson, it's like running downhill. No, you're right, but if you kick it to him, chances are 25% chance he's going to score. Uh, but if it, the fact that he's banged up, Tim, I'm going to change. I'm going to go with you. I think I'd give him a chance, my, my team a chance to hit it. Look at the Hyundai halftime statistics. You see the rushing yards dominated by Clemson, passing yards as well, time of possession, total yards, and, of course, the turnover. Clemson leads. 24 to 7 as we start the third quarter. Clemson will be kicking off, but Johnson is back. This is a low liner. Johnson will take it at the five. Looks for help, gets a hole, and brings it out to the 25 yard line. And that's where the Wolfpack will start the second half. So a return of 21. Let's go downstairs to Mike. Thanks, Tim. Tom, what'd you tell the guys in the locker room what you have to do to get back in this? We got to play like it's nothing or nothing. We got to come out and just play as well as we can. Uh, too many blows on defense, and then we got to catch the ball on offense. We got some rhythm going offensively there in the second quarter. We got a chance to take the ball now. Let's see if we can do something with it. All right. That's Tom O'Brien, Tim. All right, Mike. You know, NC State allowed 31 points in the last game, and the previous three points, they gave up 146 in those previous three games. So, I mean, this defense has really been much maligned. As they start the second half, they give it to Tony Baker, and Baker off the left Tony side Baker picks up one. You just gotta, makes a tackle. Timmy, you just got to find something that, that works, that you feel good about. Now, that could be off tackle. It might be a hitch route. They've got to get something to build some confidence, and then you – now time is against you. So you got to score in a hurry. This is the worst first half, or the first half of football that Wilson has had all year. Now, granted, his receivers dropped a couple of passes on him, but he's got a man up. He's got to really take charge of this offense here in the second half. Second down, Wilson rolls, throws the out pattern, and has it complete. So that's a good way to start the second half. Spencer runs out of bounds at the 47-yard line. It's a gain of 21. One down by Gilchrist, and the Wolfpack is rolling. Yeah, well, part, part of their what makes him special is his ability to roll out. That's Brandon Mate is chasing him, okay? A perennial werewolf. And he gets out of that. He's calm, puts the ball right on the money, and this time gets some help from Owen Spencer. Now, you know his mama's not going to be happy you calling him a werewolf. Man, look at the boy how he plays. That's, I mean, that's a compliment. There's only one category higher than that for me. Baker's got a hole, and he's into Clemson territory down to the 47. Tackle made there by Alexander and May, but it's a pickup of seven, and all of a sudden the offense gets a little life. Yeah, get a rhythm. Yeah. You get a rhythm. Now you don't want any penalties to disrupt that rhythm. And you got to block Brandon Thompson because he's the guy capable of giving you that negative play. Only one good possession in that first half. They're trying to get the second one here. Baker play action. Oh, nice oh, stop and go. Goodness. Wilson's got a little bit of room. That should be a horse collar, and there's the flag. Looks like flag day on the field right now. Three of them come flying in. Jeremy Campbell grabbed the back of his shoulder pads and pulled him down from behind. Man, man, man. He had a video move. <laughs> that one move. <laughs> the only way you could do that is with a joystick. What's <laughs> up, Horse collar. 
number 48 of the defense. 15 yards to the end of the run. <laughs> Automatic first down. Ah, uh, Doc. Oh, man, Timmy, the first thing you get away from Sack, okay, who's a beast. That's a video move. And then it, the kid just has the uh, unique ability to slither away, but that, that's going to be called. And he called for it himself. He knew it. Yeah, he knew it. As soon as he was grabbed. So that moves the ball, Doc, all the way down to the Clemson 30. Gives him a whole new set of downs. That's five penalties, 54 yards against the Tigers. Baker pops through the hole, makes a couple of extra yards. Well, that's, that's good stuff. To me, in football, when you can get that, that ugly three-yard run, your big ones up front, they give you that crease, and you know he's capable of breaking it. Eugene Baker, they're capable of breaking it, and you just want to control the game. <laughs> this is no, nothing more important at this point than NC State to finish this drive. Baker's your setback. Three-step drop, and again, he's got a roll. Buys some more time and throws it away. You know, with that rule now in college football, I, I don't see how a quarterback should ever take a sack. Once you're outside that tackle box, you can throw it away whether anybody's there or not. That's a good point. As long as it gets past the line of scrimmage. But he's under terrific pressure. Kevin Steele, he has sent the dogs out. I mean, they are coming with all both barrels loaded. And again, let's go. This is without Bowers playing the right end for them. So that's showing you some depth on the side of the Clinton Tigers. Well, you see NC State, and they, they're only three of seven on third down conversions today. This defense ranks second in the ACC, gives up only 17 a game. And again, he's got a scramble. Gets around the corner and look out. Russell Wilson's got the first down, then he's hit out of bounds, and here's a late flag. Cumbie ran him out. They have the Cumbie, Cumbie trying to stop him from scoring. I mean, if you, if you wonder what we meant in the open about this young man, Russell Wilson, being all ACC first team a year ago, it will take you long to see more of this to understand. Hey, ball. First off, out. out of bounds. That'll give, him, that'll give him first and goal. Well, ferocious. Brandon May, along with Goodman on the runs, he eludes them, making people miss. That's Cooper couldn't get him. Okay, after further review, yeah, he's out of bounds. He's out of bounds. That's a, that's a great call. Come be, I mean, hey, defensive lineman trying to get after you, but that's negligent. First down and goal for the Wolfpack. Baker inside the 10. There might have been a face mask on that. The way he looked like he, the way he did this, right? Cooper makes the tackle. No flags. Look at the O'Reilly Auto Parts red zone. Better parts, better prices every day. And for NC State offensively the last couple of games, they've been pretty solid in the red zone. Nine possessions, eight touchdowns. Wilson throws into the corner. Touchdown, NC State. Jarvis Williams with a whale of a catch. That went way too easy. But that's what happens when you get a good round run at the end. And Jarvis dropped one earlier, but he didn't drop this one. And that, that's that fake. That's what they scored on the first time. They just put it on the opposite side of the field, and Butler had no shot at it. Coming out of the round, great catch, good position. Wolfpack howling. The extra point attempt is good. And the Wolfpack has climbed within 10. Well, what a way to start the second half on a sunny afternoon in Raleigh. NC State attacks, scores, 10-point game. Nineteen seventy nine ACC champions being honored here during that timeout. They've had some champions down here. They also right. won the nineteen seventy three ACC championship. That's when Willie Burton and Charlie Young were down here. I played against those guys. That was a talented ball club under Lou Holtz. That big guy, a three hundred pounder Yost knocked yeah. me out that time. Yeah. 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 Okay. 
<laughs> What'd you say? What? He was 235. No, but back at that time, seriously, that was big. He didn't knock me out either. That was big. And they kicked this ball out of bounds, so they'll mark it at the 30. Well, he had only three catches for a total of 18 yards, but NC State's Jarvis Williams scored three touchdowns off those three catches when we were down in Tallahassee a couple weeks ago. The Orlando native caught touchdown passes of five, six, and seven yards against the Knowles. So the ball did go out of bounds, and they'll mark it on the 40. That first play, or that first drive, rather, by NC State went nine plays, 75 yards. Of course, the two penalties were huge, the horse collar and the hit out of bounds, but it's a big seven points for NC State. See if they can stop him or slow him down defensively. Here's Spiller. He gets to the corner and look out. This is a great tackle. It's just a great tackle. Tackle by Johnson yeah. picks up almost six. Parker seven of 13, but he did what he had to do, Doc. He got it to the right people and spread the ball around. Well, Kyle Parker is the key to their success. His ability to get the ball to the playmakers. And let's not slight that old line, too. They've been, they've been doing a good job. Second down and five. Parker into the flats. This is complete. Jones down, first down in NC State territory. Pickup of nine. It's one thing to be a sprinter, but when you're a football player with great speed, then it just makes you highly difficult to contend with. As you look at C.J. Spiller there, Doc, Clifford Jr. has run the football, he's caught the football, he's thrown the football, he's returned the football, done it everything, everything every, for every week. week. Every week. Here's the dog. Oh, what a setup. And Ford carries it down close to another first down, be two yards short. Tackle made by Johnson. It's like throwing in the eye of the storm. You got a blitz coming at you. And then Kyle Parker, and you talk about his maturity. They got a, a stunt coming in. He hits forward right where he has to hit him so he can continue to run. It's like a rub off flanker screen. Mm -hmm. Second down and two. Straight ahead goes Ellington and look out. He's got another first down, down inside the 35 to the 30 yard line. Gain of seven. Boy, the next generation running back coach Carl Andre Powell told me that this kid has it all. He, he smiles every time he talks about it. Says he's got it. He's the next one. You know what's sad here, though? This defense is so beaten up and banged down that it just uh, can't stop anybody. Cash gets cut off, and Spiller picks up another seven or eight. They're picking them up at seven and eight a clip, and then the extra the ball down, down to nine, they and the ball may have down. come out. Did it come out? Johnson comes out of the pile with it. Johnson made the tackle, and he's got the football. And that's the kind of luck you need. Swing your way, otherwise Billy Napier is going to just eat you up. But they say it's Clemson football, so the Tigers get up in a hurry. They don't want to replay on this thing. Spiller's not going to get the first down. That's smart football. Yeah. Now the Tigers want a flag saying it's an unnecessary roughness. Let's take another look at that play. It's Cash. That ball's oh, out. That out. ball is out. Yeah. He rips it out. And Tom O'Brien's furious. He was trying to get a timeout. They wouldn't give it to him. And Clemson came up and snapped it quickly. Wow. So Clemson knew they had fumbled the football. It was on their sideline. And they came up with a quick snap. Tom O'Brien is out on the out. field. There was a no play. The ball will be pushed back at the previous spot. And that's a no play. Second down. Well, it's no play now. Can they review it? How can that be a no play? Why do you not let Tom get the timeout? They said Clemson called the timeout. Well, if there's a timeout called, they ought to be able to review it. North Carolina State head coach 
is challenging the previous play, asking for a fumble. I mean, it's clear. Good rip. Cash was there again, the kind of play he's had. That ball is bouncing around. That's just great. That's just a great job of stripping. You got to strip when you're down by 10. I mean, look at this. Talking about a D line. Balls out. Yeah, you're going to strip it. And see number 19? Yeah, that's Johnson. He came up with the football. This should be NC State football, and what a turn of events that will be. A little intrigue. Now, I wonder if game. the official score is going to give that timeout since the official said Clemson. I mean, we've got the video of Tom asking for it. Boy, this crowd is going to lose its mind. If right now, pack ball. right now it sounds like a library. Yeah, they're waiting for the call. So the official word is that NC State took the timeout. They did challenge, and of course, Tom McCreese will give us the the answer. Mike, what do you have? Mike Hogwood, where are you? I want to tell you that Tom O'Brien has been staring down Tom McCreese with his arms crossed. He knows that that was a fumble and this is taking a long time and Tom O'Brien just went up to him and said why is this taking so long it was a fumble and so we'll see we'll see in just a moment and again state will not be charged with a timeout if this is overturned. Well Obi's right too. replay shows it. He's got indisputable video evidence. The only thing I can figure is that maybe the glare. Hurt him. Here's Tom McCreesh. After review, the play on the fan stands. The ball carrier was down prior to the ball coming out. The ball replaced on the 22 yard line. Second down. Well, all right. Are you serious? <laughs> That's what Parliament said. Oh, my goodness. Again, the glare, if the only way out of this is if the glare distorted what we thought we saw. I saw the ball out. It was still up. And I saw his knee where it didn't touch. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's it. They just showed it again on the big screen, too, and now the defense is fired up. The crowd has come to life. Second down and two from the 22. Parker out of the gun. Ash in motion. The keeper Spiller first down though the keeper is around the corner and first down move the chains. Go ahead Kyle. I, I just can I hope I know that the uh, Tiger Nation understands that Kyle Parker he's taking on a leadership position now and is not talking his way through it. He is falling his way through it. Look at the auto. O'Reilly Auto Parts Red Zone. Better parts, better prices every day. This club has a chance. It scores nine out of ten times. Spiller left side. Breaks the tackle to the ten. C.J. Spiller, see you later. Sixteen yards. Jarvis Bird, 14, right side in red. He's going to come in, and he is going to give you the initial contact. Most guys go down. See, Bird comes in. He clips the wing, but doesn't get his drop. Great block by Dwayne Allen, and that's all he needs. Spiller's sixth touchdown of the year. Sore toe and all. And the extra point is no good. Bad snap. The extra point was no good from the get go. But the touchdown was solid. Spiller broke a tackle and carried it home for a 30 14 lead under eight in the third. 7 plays 60 yards and the 16 yard run by 
CJ Spiller. Spiller time. 30 14 Tigers. So we'll see if NC State can answer. A lot of time left to play in this ball game. Here's Johnson. Got a clip. Johnson's got the corner and can't stay in bounds. There is a flag. You called it, Doc. Going to find out a lot about your ball club in a situation like this. See if NC State continues to battle. During your turn, illegal block above the waist, number seven, from North Carolina State. After distance from the spot of the foul, first down. Let's go back in time, Doc. Let's take a look at this again. Well, there, yes. Richard Ryan trying to call timeout. Clemson comes right back and scores 16 yard run by Spiller. Question is, was the knee down before the ball was separated from his body? In real time, it was tough to see. When we slowed it down, it was apparent. Bottom line is, Spiller scores, and it's a 30 14 lead. 7 48 to play in the third. Straight ahead they go, not much there. They do have to be conscious of that clock now, Doc, even though there's 7.40 left in the third. I mean, there's got to be a sense of urgency. Yeah, time is not their friend at this point. That possession would have turned things around. If it was 10 at this point, they have got to get in the end zone, and they can't do it the old-fashioned way. They're going to have to speed things up. Our first and 10 line is brought to you by CPI Security. See how CPI can protect your home and family at CPISecurity.com. Second down and seven. Wilson drops and throws deep. A lot of bumping and grinding going on, and now comes the flag. This would be interesting. Spencer was the intended receiver. This is a guy so close to the out of bounds that I think you just limit yourself as a receiver. The DB, I'm just going to ride you out if you want to get that close. You got to fight to keep that vertical stem going. That's interference. Number 38 of the defense. That's Chris Chandler. Yards the previous spot. I'm not first down. But the rules are tilted so much that it, it just pays to throw deep. Now his hands are up, and then he makes contact, and there he's wrong. Okay, he's wrong. They make it very clear about contact. I think as he started to stumble a bit, it got worse. So they call it on Chris Chandler Chancellor. That'll give NC State a first down seventh penalty 79 yards. Against the Tigers. Duly noted by Dabo Sweeney. Right tackle, push the pile across the 30 to the 32 yard line. Jamel Eugene. 42 to 10, Georgia Tech. That means with that win today, if we give them the win, they'll win the Coastal. And they have their ticket to Tampa. Boy, Texas just continues to roll. Texas, the number three team in the country, still unbeaten behind Florida and Alabama. All are 9 0. And Eugene will lose yardage. Look at that pursuit. Brandon May and Rashard Hall got there. There he is, baby, the enforcer. You can count on it. If it's physical, he's going to be right in the middle of it. Doc, he's 6'3", 230 pounds. He's only a sophomore, and he can flat out run. Yeah, you know what? And he's old school in his approach to the game. You know, he, he's going to hit you in the mouth. He's going to pursue the ball sideline to sideline. I mean, he's what you want out of your middle linebacker, the ferocious. So it brings up a big third and long. They need seven. Ball on the 29. Over the middle. And held on to. What a, that's a first down by Daryl Davis. My goodness. What a catch. McDaniel punished him. And Davis is still down, but he went up and he got it and held on to it. Boy, DeAndre, who's a terrific player in his own respect. Wilson put the ball there. 
precision pass. But this took courage. I call this a courage catch. Because you know that you're going to be smacked. And he gets hit in the landing right on the shoulder. And you just hope, man, that that shoulder didn't get knocked out of place. Total focus, concentration, and then a tough landing. Well, on the side of his hat, too. But he's yeah. up. He's up. Yeah. But he held on. Oh, my goodness. That's the one that uh, makes parents cringe. But it's a big time catch his 20th of the year. And Davis will come to the sidelines. If that's not inspiration for an offense. Man, you get a child line with him, man. You just say, hey, man, what you want? I'll go get it. You just sit there. That's what he's earned. Now that, when you make those kind of catches, then you earn that in the child line. Gain of 18. Gives him a new set of downs. Eugene around the corner. Jamel looking for a block. He picks up eight. Oh. Chancellor under. Good run. Andy Barbie, 74 in red. Vicious block out on the edge. Almost nine to be about a yard short of the first. But still figuring out a new plan. I got to come up with a new plan. Eight yard gain. Now second down. That's a good one. Spencer goes to the top of the screen. They spread the field, try to spread them thinly, and Jamel Eugene with the carry. Brandon May with another tackle, but it's enough for the first down. And what Clemson, and I mentioned the name Brandon Thompson and Jarvis Jenkins, they've given you ability to come in and get those negative plays for negative yards. That's what they haven't been able to do. And here's May coming in there, finishing with attitude. Again, they spread the field. Eugene looks for a little bounce. Boy, they're all over him, and they take him down hard. Again, Eugene carries the football. Woo! The Goodman played well today for Bowers. Those are huge shoes to fill. You know, you keep mentioning Jenkins. He barely played as a freshman. Was a pleasant surprise last year, and he's a bona fide hole plugger now. Well, you know, 310. Nice. Cross the middle, knock loose. He might have caught the oh, he incomplete. Caught Boy, Gilchrist knocked that ball loose from a safety spot after the ball looked like it was caught. The, the secondary just, you know, they your goal, and you know this, is to make people pay for catches. You know, you you say it's a gimme, get open, but I'm gonna make you pay for the catch. Doc, if it comes down in Tampa between Clemson and Georgia Tech, that'll be a whale of a football game. Tell you what, bring you protective gear. Looking deep out of bounds. That's good coverage out there, Chancellor. Yeah. Hoping for a gimme, but they, the closer you run to that sideline, the good ones in the they're going to just let you ride out of it. You're ineligible at that point. Bowen's just ran him out. Time now really becomes a factor as Ruiz comes on to punt the ball away. Yeah, you just hate to waste that great catch Davis made. You know, you, you, you guy sold out his body. And, boy. Ruiz gets a high tail wagger that'll hit at the nine and will be downed inside the five. Well, they needed that one too. So a 40 yard pooch punt. And Clemson will be backed up for the first time today. 3.47 to play in the third. It's 30-14, and this is what they're playing for. We'll be back after a word from your local stations. First, first time Clemson's been backed up all day. We're starting position of the game for the Tigers. This is Parker under center. Allen in motion. Spiller, your ball carrier. And he gets out to the four. 
Let's go downstairs. Michael, what do you have? What a great story. Xavier Dye is number 21 for Clemson. Earlier this season, he lost his starting job, got down on himself, said he wanted to transfer, left the team, was suspended for a game, came back, worked hard. Not only has he regained his starting spot for the last two weeks, he's caught touchdown passes, including one today. It's a great story. It really is, Mike. You're right. He's a player, and he's played behind Aaron Kelly the last couple of years. He was Willie Corn's receiver in Burns High School, and it is good to see him back. Spiller trips across the five yard line and we'll give him a gain maybe of one but it'll bring up a third and six. Well they've got to go after the ball again. I know they probably feel like they did that the last possession and didn't get awarded the fumble. It's like Thomas Austin didn't get get up. Man you cannot lose your graduate assistant guard. Been a stalwart. Part of their success is the protection that McLean, Freeman, Austin, Harrison, and Walker have provided. And of course, they've got some depth there with with uh, Smith and Coy, who's played a lot for them. Uh, just, let's just hope that's a bruise. Doc, this is Austin's 33rd consecutive start. 6'4, 310 pounds. He's already graduated. He'll play on Sundays. And you're right. Let's just hope it's not serious. Yeah, man. I mean, it, it, you got a chance at the championship run. Let's watch it. 65 white. Look at him extending to get a block. Yeah, they just fell on it. CJ's, fell on it. Yeah, CJ's yeah. fell on it. Yeah. I mean, you could crack the figure that figure that way, but you hope it's just a bruise. Doc, they need six, and they've been very successful in third down conversions today. They're five of seven. Ash in motion. Give to Spiller, and he's not going to get it. He may have lost yardage. Audie Cole got there in a hurry. Well, they, they, you know, the one thing that Mike Archer has done a lot of substitution in this ball game. And I guarantee you, the kids who've come in there have not disappointed. They continue to play, I'll tell you that. This is only the second punt for Clemson all afternoon. Dawson Zimmerman. And he is standing deep in his own area end zone. Johnson for Clemson is standing back, excuse me, yeah, the 45. <laughs> so he wants his punt to come to him. Yeah, he's got to hope that the Wolf Pack, they don't give him any flags, no penalty. This is a returnable punt. Here comes Johnson. He's at the 42. Looks for a block and trips at the 35. So a 38 yard punt a seven yard return and the Wolfpack will have great field position to start this drive. Wilson play action holding and what a shame it may negate this play. Spencer all the way down to the 10 yard line. Chancellor made the tackle. Let's see what the flag is but it was thrown in the area they normally call holding. Well man when you look like I thought it might have been Renee Moore with just relentless pressure. Nope. I mean that's what makes the difference. Let's see. We thought McCullough was called for holding but it's not. But it is against NC State. Here's Tom McCreesh. Illegal motion. North Carolina State. Five yard penalty. Repeat first down. And is that in the interior or was it a. Boy Tom O'Brien just shakes his head doc. Well he knows man. They're not good enough. To beat themselves, to help the Tigers beat them. Great play, though. Man, Wilson throws across his body as well as anyone I've seen. Tom O'Brien, great success at Boston College. Everybody feels the same. He'll do it here at NC State, but these are frustrating times. Here's Baker. Baker rambles all the way down to the 36. Connor makes the tackle. Well, that's how good they can be. I mean, you know, I think we all agree. Clemson's a championship caliber ball club, but they have not been able to stop them from running the football. I mean, that's, uh, and that's one of the things you can do. And you get your play action going. You just got to get somebody to step up and make some plays. Baker seems like he's ready for prime time. I don't think there's any question about that. Tries to carry tacklers. Not much there. Gilchrist again. Let's go down to Mike. Yeah, Thomas Austin, this is bad news. He's been taken into the locker room. They want to do some x-rays on that left ankle. He's not able to put any weight on it at all. 
Yeah, he doesn't sound good right now. All right, Mike, thank you. I was hoping that it was the, the shin area. I didn't, you know, hoping it wasn't a joint. Tom O'Brien craves an attack that can run between the tackles and then play action with defense to death. Yep. And this offensive line has been stepping up the last couple weeks. This is a big third down. And he got it. Brandon May on the blitz. Throw with some air under it. It's caught. First down, down by the 11. Tony Baker. Playmaker. 26 yards. Russell Wilson is the real McCoy. Then you get the out and up route. Good route. Great concentration. Tony Baker, primetime player. He turned Connor around, and that's the last play of the third quarter. But it ends with the Wolf Pack on the prowl. We're ready for the final 15. 30 14 with the Wolf Pack rolling. Well, they're still hoping here in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina, as NC State starts to rally. Still have the entire final 15 to play. And after uh, their third down conversions in that first half, where they were one and four, they've been five and seven since. So they pick up the first down here. And they're down in the red zone, throwing into the corner, incomplete, dangerous pass. Oh, David, man. It's intended for George Bryan, but never in the neighborhood. Alexander covering. Second Got to believe they're going to score more points. They average 33 a game. Here are your statistics through that first th three quarters. See the third down conversion, six for 11 now for uh, NC State. That's after that horrific start. Second down, Baker. Nothing. No. Connor, May, Gilchrist all in on the tackle, a gain of two. It'll bring up third down and eight. They can get a first down. And yeah, in a field goal, I mean, you'll take it, but you, that's not what you're out there for at this point. The time going against you, scorebook board against you, you've got to find a way to score seven points. Depending on this play, Doc, they may look at that fourth down situation and go for it. That's they, good point. It depends on this play right here. Spencer goes way to the top of the screen. Baker flexed, comes back underneath. Wilson's got some problems, but gets away. Wilson's still alive. He's got to throw it away and does. What a play. Man, that guy. And there is a flag, and this is at the 30 yard line. So Tom McCreese will consult a little bit. Crowd is a little bit concerned and certainly anxious. Tom O'Brien is back out on the field. As a receiver, you can never give up as an offensive lineman. You got to stay on your feet and keep fighting. There is no fail for intentional grounding. Number five was in the area and had an eligible opportunity to catch the ball. And so that'll bring up a fourth down. And since they gain nothing there, Doc, now I think you almost have to go for the field goal. Yeah, and your quarterback has got to be exhausted <laughs> after going through this. Boy, Alexander, you know. It's not about getting sacks always. It's about getting pressure. And Kevin Alexander has been on the spot. So this will be a 26 yard attempt by Joukowsky. Joukowsky is two for two from this distance this year. Good snap, good hold. Kick is up. Splits the sticks and it's good. <laughs> And so we're within two touchdowns, 30-17, with 13.55 to play in the game. From Raleigh, North Carolina, Carter Finley Stadium. Hey, there's a look at Pyro Man. You know, this is the textile bowl, and certainly the firefighters want to be involved in this. Flames range in temperature from 1,200 to 1,800 Celsius. Pyro Man. Man, protecting our 
warriors are going to help people in burning buildings, man. That's that's great. Seven plays, 29 yards, 26 yard field goal, and we're within two touchdowns. Spiller will have a chance to return it. He's at the 10. C.J. Spiller looks for help. Nothing there. They could have been doing that all day. I don't think so. Here's why. <laughs> Look at what he's been doing with a little help from his friends. And this is despite. Watch this. Shake, rattle, and roll. And he can also pass it. He is special. No, he's a finisher. C.J. Spiller, his decision to play Clemson this year, come back instead of going to the NFL as a program maker for Dabo and the Tigers. See what he's done today. He'll graduate on time. He's been in the Ring of Honor. He'll be in the Ring of Honor. He could be Doc, maybe the best ever at Clemson. And they've had an assortment of ballers from receivers, quarterbacks, defensive people all across the board. I just think, you know, seldom do you find young men that are better than advertised. I think he's better than advertised. Well, here's what really blows my mind. He came into this season with only seven career starts. Yet he held a dozen records. He's a game changer. He's got that speed, dynamic playmaker as we've seen all day. And he won't like this, but I'm calling him Clifford Jr. <laughs> That's what CJ is. Here's yeah, Parker. He's got it. And Ash carries it all the way out to the 35 yard line. Let's go downstairs to Mike. Adding to CJ Spiller, you got to talk about his leadership. Before they came out on the field, CJ gathered every member of that offense around him. He got down on a knee. They were all looking at him, and he said, Guys, do we want a championship? He said, yeah. If we want a championship, we're going to go out there on this next drive and play like we've never before. It made the hairs on my neck stand up before they went out there to play. Great leadership shown on C.J. Spiller's part. He is special, Mike, no question about it. Here on first down out of the gun. Here's C.J. Not much. Good coverage by Audie Cole. Gain of three. James Davis, when he left, CJ took over that starting role. Not a big guy, though, Doc. 5'11, 195 pounds. Out of Lake Butler, Florida. It's an exclusive club. When you look at those numbers, how about Reggie Bush compared to CJ Spiller? Not a whole lot of difference, huh? Well, just the fact that you can have that comparison, it means a lot. And more total yards for CJ. Yeah, no, he's worthy. Here he is again. Across the 40 to the 42 yard line. Tackle made there by Bird. Jarvis Bird, a talented freshman, was just greeted by that guy. And let's not forget that the loss of Thomas Austin to the left side of the Tigers offensive line, and yet they're still going to be able to grind this thing out. Wilson Norris in there now at left guard. They need three on third down. Coming with pressure. He still gets it off. It's complete first down. Oh, what a play. Complete to Michael Palmer. Boy, Leroy Burgess was as close as humanly possible, but he just couldn't get it done. Strong rush comes in. Look at 95 in red. Just couldn't get there. And that could have been a flag at the end. And again, you throw to Michael Palmer, part of the high IQ club. Just hard to beat it. That's his fourth catch of the day. He now has 27 for the season. Well, he's a stud. You mentioned his high football IQ. Well, he played the tight end position. Yeah. He, <laughs> he found the open area. Here's Spiller. Or correction, Ellington. Ellington across the 35 to the 34. That's what I like about Ellington. He can, you can confuse him with Spiller. You don't confuse a lot of people with Spiller, but that's an easy one to do. Clemson would love to get nine wins this year. They're headed in that direction. 
Get a good bowl game to put last year's seven win disappointment behind him and build momentum in this program for Dabo. You know, Dabo Swinney was a hard nosed walk on player at Alabama. This club plays like he did. Well, they, they enjoy working for him. But the bottom line is that can you get results? Play action, looking deep, all alone. Touchdown, Clemson. CJ Spiller. How do you let him loose? I don't know. I think the coach would understand if you overcovered him. But he said, same thing happened with Jacoby Ford earlier. And you know how you explain it? It's called youth. It's called youth. Here we watch. He's the real McCoy. They run that wheel route, which he's done that a hundred times. And he's untouched. Benton's extra point is good. Actually, no good. Miss right. It looked like it squeezed in on that right upright, but it was just on the outside. So Spencer Benton is no good. C.J. Spiller is 36-17. Jay Spiller has quieted the crowd here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Johnson looking for a hole. He's tripped up. Spiller has run for a touchdown. He's thrown for a touchdown. He's done it all. He's caught a touchdown pass. And this past week, on Wednesday night, he met with 1,300 young folks down in South Carolina. A Christian group, but he spoke, he said, I love to speak about my Christianity. Talked about humility, talked about life. You talk about a leader, does it all the doc on the field and off the field. No, he's he's special. Trying to make the right decisions in the game of life. Russell Wilson throws deep. Almost intercepted. Intended for Owen Spencer. Well, he had no problem pushing that down the field, did he? He's got a gun. He's thrown into a pretty good secondary, though. Chris Chan Chancellor was there, along with Richard Hall. Talked earlier about Austin at left guard, but this is the 36th consecutive start at cornerback for Chris Chancellor. Here's a look at CJ, what he's done. I guess a good question would be, would you sit him down now? I, I wouldn't. You know, Doc, I'm with you. This is college football. You come yeah. to play because you love it. And you want to play every down. Well, and I just believe that you know, by the time NC State is capable of scoring again. Is the game over in my mind? Yes. You know, but I, I just, the kid's body oiled up. Let him go. I agree with you. I agree with you. He's waited a long time to, to carry that football like this. Let's go down to Mike. Well, before this play, I can tell you that there's been a lot of talking to C.J. Spiller. I, I personally think he's done that they're looking at the bigger picture here unless this game gets a lot closer. Well, if he wants to sit down, Wilson avoids yeah, one. He get away from that. And gets punished as he throws it downfield, and it's almost intercepted. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Got you Shard Hall. Him the you just love him, didn't he? He gives you a chance. Yeah, yeah. But back to Spiller for a second, Doc. You know, we're both on the same page. We said, you know, if he wants to play, let him play. But he's also oh, banged up. So, I mean, Russell Wilson will give you a chance to make a play. And he'll sacrifice his body in the process. He's back running punts. Yeah, I'm telling you, the guy wants to play. No, he's, he's waited a, a long time to play. Well, you said it best. He said when he decides to come back to school, Came back to be a champion. Right. This is a low liner, and Spiller will fair catch it. 34 yard punt, and that beats the six yard punt we saw in the first half. Time out on the field, we'll take one as well. 8.52 to play, 36 17. The Tigers hold the lead. Now they'll try to melt the clock. Last time CJ was on the field, this is what happened. We'll see what happens when we come back. 8.52 to play.
Closed captioning for today's telecast provided by Bojangles, famous chicken and biscuits. You got to want to need to get a have a Bojangles expression tunnel on the campus of NC State. Legendary. Put your name in there, Doc. No, I don't think so. No. Digging on the wall last night. We got on the ball, both of them. Yeah, we did. You're right. Great honor. First down for Clemson. 8.52 to go. We'll see if they can melt the clock and shorten the game here. They've been in control from the get-go and look out. The hole straight up the middle is Harper. He's got room and nobody in front of him. Can they catch him? At the 10, the 5, touchdown Clemson. 69 yards. And that will empty the stadium except for the faithful from South Carolina and Clemsonville. Now the question begs, did he drop the ball before he got to the end zone? He says no. Man, you're talking about ruining your, your one shiny moment. Isn't that the truth? Dabo Swinney would be happy with that. Here's another look. Woo. It is close. Yeah, it's worth it's worth examination. You run that far and you go. Well, yeah, he's probably it, it, we've seen people just whiff by it and get be given touchdowns because it broke the plane, so I'm sure that the part, ironic part of this doc is that Jamie Harper. Is the short yardage guy. And he broke that thing 64 yards and did he drop it before he crossed? Let's see from that point, he's not. Well, yeah, he's not his foot's not down, his body's crawling. It's it's worth it's the ball that's got to yeah, break it's the plane, worthy not of his body. the examination. I can promise you that. The ball has to have touched that line. <laughs> got Coach Scott and Coach Powell right now. Sandwiched in between this. After further review. The ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. <laughs> Tabo now, good job. Yeah, now, yeah, good job. Time. Good job, son. Boy, <laughs> Brad Scott, the offensive line coach, who got to be a little down over losing Thomas Austin, but but got to be proud of what his troops have done today. Guarantee you. When they look at that film, though, Harper's going to be talked to. <laughs> and the extra point this time is good. So it's all smiles on the Clemson sideline. They can laugh about it now, but that was close. It's been quite a party here at Carter Finley Stadium, 8.42 to play, 43 to 17. The Tigers as they continue to roll toward that championship at Tampa Bay. Big run, as you mentioned. I want to show you the people here in question. Now, watch the two inside happen. On the outside, Augustine, he comes down, he gets cut. That's a good cut. And at that point, watch the back will veer outside, and you're going to get another great effort out here. Your wide receiver helps you, and then the safety in here gets video game. And at that point, once it happens, you are out of business, and the band's about to play because it's touchdown Tiger time. Hold on to the ball, though. Well, yeah. Pack your bags, Tigers. It looks like you're headed to Tampa. We'll wait to see what Boston College does today, but this is another step closer to your goal. Ninth play of 50 or more yards this season. Explosive. See, that's key. How many people, how many teams can say that? Well, and the offensive line, Doc, was an Achilles heel last year, but now. Well, I tell you what, the Tigers rank third in the league in rushing, and they have allowed only 16 sacks. Doing a great job. Yeah, that's what Brad Scott deserves a lot of credit. That's some blocking here, and out to the 32-yard line goes Eugene, 16-yard gain. During the return, illegal block in the back, above the waist by number 11. Half the distance to the goal, first down. Boy, growing pains at NC State, and they hurt. 
Well, Coach O'Brien, I mean, he's he understands it. I mean, I think he's a terrific leader. And they don't use it as an excuse. Still play hard, and I expected more out of their offense today. But uh, there'll be brighter days for the Wolfpack. I you promise know, you that. You know, when Tom O'Brien was the head coach at Boston College, the Eagles went four and seven in both 1997 and 98. But after those two years, you could just watch his philosophy and watch his program. And it all took hold. And he finished over 500 for eight straight years and won seven bowl games in a row. Mm -hmm. Now, his first couple years here, three years here, have been stymied by injuries. And he's still getting his players in here, and everything's bright for the future. But I mean, this is these growing pains hurt. They're hard. Well, they do. Yeah, you expect to be better. But boy, the facility, the support, the people, the fan base, you know, it's just um, just one step, one more step. First down to 10 at the 20. Russell Wilson will take this one himself. And he'll get it out to the 27. Talk about injuries. I mean, it has been uncanny. All the injuries that the Wolfpack have had this season. If you look at the defense. Nate's a great. Oh, that was a huge loss. Yeah. And then Cheek and Smith and Reese Camp and Walker. And then offensively, I mean, you lost a couple of wide receivers. You lost uh, offensive linemen. You lost the running back, yeah. James Washington. Lost Maddie's in our last game. That young, outstanding prospect. T.J. Graham is one of the most explosive in the country, mm -hmm. and he's gone. So, I mean, it's been one of those years. Wow. Boy, you're still hearing some popping. Like to hear those pads popping. Scotty Cooper getting a chance to play linebacker, and the young junior comes up and tattoos him. Well, they, they want to make Coach Steele smile. Can you imagine Death Valley? Or just can you imagine Tiger Town tonight? The yeah, SO Club man. will be rocking. Oh boy. <laughs> you know the SO Club. Oh yeah. They'll be getting it on, man. First down and 10 at the 30. Good snap. Wilson fires out there. They'll gain about six. Good catch by Jay Smith. One of the lowest scoring games that NC State has played this year. And they average 33. They've only been able to muster 17 thus far. Brian makes another catch. Gain of 12 as they move the football. Meeks had a good plan on the tackle. You watch it. Another outstanding tight end in the ACC. Jonathan Meeks, the safety, was not messing around. He went right for those ankles. Wilson again. Pretty good rhythm right now. That's a good catch. Another completion. Spencer. And the ball thrown slightly behind Owen, but he went back and got it. Spencer's had a pretty good day. As a matter of fact, he's found himself, himself open several times and then had to fight through receivers on the back shoulder to make some of the other catches. But Spencer's found himself and continues to work. Well, the experience in this team is in this offensive line. You've got, you know, the grad students there. It looks like this might be a holding. Yeah, Baker with a nice carry will have to bring it back. Holding against NC State, the offensive line averages 6'5", 308 pounds, and occasionally at 1,700 pounds of beef. Those big fellas will. Yeah, and they've been in the program a while. Holding number 50 of the offense. 10 yards from the previous line scrimmage. Who makes second down? That's Serge McCullough. <laughs> He's making his 29th straight start. He's a big one. Almost had 600 snaps. Gonna get a look at Willie Corn, it looks like. Next series, he'll come on in at quarterback for Clemson. Willie Corn came in as one of the most highly recruited, thought of quarterbacks that they've had at Clemson in a long, long time. Mm -hmm. How about that catch? Oh my, Jarvis Williams with a terrific catch. That's his 35th catch of the year, and he gains 28 yards. Well, the ability should never be questioned. It was consistency that they needed. Now, he, well, he's capable of doing that. But if they do that in the first half, 
you know, maybe we're dealing with a different ball game. He is your most consistent receiver. He's a count on me type guy. Yeah, no, he's got star potential. Baker straight ahead to the 15, so there's no quit in this offense. Rico Hawkins makes this tackle. Clemson leads this series 49 27 and 1. And they're about to win their 50th against NC State. Wilson looks over the middle. Got it. Should have been caught, would have been a touchdown. Royal George dropped it. Yeah, he got a gun. He put that one. He that was a flame throw. Shows you his range. Yeah. I mean that's 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 pitch and catch. Look at the pass protection. Beautifully done. Nice throw. Yep, you gotta make that one. Hit him between the two threes. Mm -hmm. He goes to shower. He may have the point of the ball <laughs> still on his chest. <laughs> That was overthrown. That was intended for Jarvis Williams. Too high. Tim, did you guys have night games? Yeah, we played a couple. We played down in the Orange Bowl against Miami. Night, night game. There were, night, there were a few. They had, lights, okay. they had night back then. <laughs> and they had lights. <laughs> Doc's got to take his headset off now. Doc's one of the few guys I've ever seen that does a game with a helmet on. Problem was, Doc, when we out, when I was in Maryland, we had a drug problem. We got drug all over the field a lot of times. Wilson into the corner. Oh, man, he threw in the double. He had, seen, had the back right out of the flat. Just missed it. Davey Brewer was all over Jarvis Williams. Yeah, but, you know. See what happens, man. Things just don't work out for you. But Wilson is the real McCoy, and he had Baker in the flat wide open. So Clemson will see if they can just melt away that final four and a half. Boy, look at those bright jerseys. Looks like a cream sickle. Willie Korn is now your quarterback. Before suffering a shoulder injury, he played six games last year and started one, going 26 of 38, one touchdown, one interception this year. He was considered the future here. He signed and left Burns High School, but then Parker won the spot. And when we talked to the coaches, they said the competition in the fall was no contest, that it was all Kyle Parker. Second down and seven from the 18. Take another look at Willie Korn here. This is Ellington, or the keeper by uh, Corn. Raycom Sports is now on Facebook. Log on to your Facebook account and become a fan of Raycom Sports. Get updates on our ACC Game of the Week and a lot of video highlights. Raycom Sports now on Facebook. I was looking at Facebook when Corn made that, that fake. Gets the first down, ball on the 25. No hurry. Play clock down to four. Ellington again, right side, and clock will continue to move. Gain of three. So Clemson will go to seven and three, five and two in the Atlantic Division. And look at the offensive talent here. 38, 40, 49, and 40 points. And they've got 43 here today. Now they're loaded. I mean, you get Ford and Spiller. But most importantly, they're, they're playing quarterback. That's the business. As far as I'm concerned, you mentioned offensive line. I second that as well. Second down and eight from the 27. Horn goes down in a hurry. Good play by Willie Young. Haven't called his name very much today, but the captain of that defense got through in a hurry that time. Yeah, I thought I'm starting to think that Willie was hurt today because uh, obviously he played a lot. Willie this time got right inside the gap, just shot it, and if you're going to put a back backups in, they can't play with Willie Young. 
I mean, that's just, that's not going to happen. They have to double it. Doc, as we get down to the two minute mark and you look ahead, Clemson looks like it will win the Atlantic Division. They can win it today if Boston College loses. And then they play, uh, Clemson plays UVA next week and can lock it up if Boston College wins. But, I mean, it looks like it's going to be a rematch of that Georgia Tech Clemson game earlier this season, which Georgia Tech won 30 to 27. So it sets up to be a terrific yeah, championship game, game in Tampa. A game with a bit of controversy. If you look at the first half, and you know the fake punt and all the things that happened, and then Clemson flipped the switch, and then that second half, different squad. So they just start that game from I know from their vantage point. They start that game the way they ended it, and then Texas will look back at them and say they just flat out there. They've got three of the best people at every level. You know, it has been a quarterback. You know they're running back and they're wide out Thomas. I mean they're the best in each category. No question it's worth a ticket to Tampa. Oh yeah. And this broadcast is a copyrighted presentation of the Atlantic Coast Conference. Any use of this broadcast without the permission of the Atlantic Coast Conference and Raycom Sports is prohibited. You talk about pass rushers. You're going to have two of the premier pass rushers in the ACC in that game. 103 to play. We'll take timeout. Tim Brandt, Doc Walker, Mike Hogwood with you at the final 63 seconds of this one here in Raleigh, North Carolina, Carter Finley Stadium. And Clemson is, they took the early lead and they've kept it all day. 43 17. Quite a display. This is fourth down, and the Tigers will have to punt, give it back to the Wolfpack. And NC State should have field, pretty good field position here, Doc. Yeah, but you know, Clemson's getting better every week. I mean, that's the key. The, off, the injury today will hurt, but they're just getting better. Johnson Fair catches it at the 47, so a 34 yard punt did the job. We'll find out tomorrow which game we're doing next Saturday as we come down the stretch on the road to Tampa Bay, waiting to see who does what. Boston College kicks off at 3.30, and of course, all the Clemson fans will be watching that intently. Lost by BC today, and Clemson wraps up the Atlantic. Mike Glennon in at quarterback now. Here's another high. Highly sought after recruit. Six foot six drop back guy who was recruited by Miami, Florida State, among others. And a catch by George Bryant. Well, I like his style. He comes right in, you go right to the tight end. 38th catch of the year for Bryant. Big pickup. Boy, Virginia Tech just putting it on the University of Maryland today. That game's in Burke Stadium, too. Yeah, oh, and they salute to our veterans and you know as a military. The accent to the game. Glennon overthrows, and that was a dangerous pass, almost picked off by Maxwell, intended for Donald Bowen Bowens. I watched Glennon in high school, man. He he was razor sharp. The football played for Tom Verbanek. Oh, he's the most decorated passer now to ever sign at NC State. He's a redshirt freshman. They've got a couple of good ones with Russell Wilson, a sophomore, and Glennon, a redshirt freshman. It's a tough situation to be in, though, if you're the freshman. Yeah, but you can never have too many of them. Glennon steps up, throws under. Intended for Brian, incomplete. Stops the clock with 27 seconds left. Hello. Hey, folks, be sure to check out RayconSports.com every Wednesday for the ACC road trip. Tommy Kane gives us an inside look <laughs> Tommy at what's Kane. happening on and off the field. <laughs> Tommy Kane and Doc were hard to handle last night. Hey, man. And on Thursday, Bill Rosinski's opening drive provides an exclusive look at ACC football. Highlights and a whole lot more. That's all on RayconSports.com. That was fun. We did some Italian last night. Oh, that was great, man. Great. Videos. Videos is a hot spot. This ball is caught, carried all the way down to the 24 yard line. Donald Bowens picks up 22 yards. 17 seconds left. How about the memorabilia, though? I mean, that was impressive. The Valvano room, all the pictures. Pictures of Chuck Amato as a player. As a player. Chuck was a baller, man. And of course, the guy that hit that knocked you out. It was about 300 pounds. Yost, 235. Yeah, 300. Didn't knock me out, Doc. Oh, no. Stunned you. He did stun me. And I'm still stunned as we have the 17 seconds that remain in this ball game, 43-17. Told you they have to go up to UVA and play uh, against the Cavaliers, and then they've got the finale against South Carolina. So they play uh, Virginia next week, and that will be definitely to wrap this baby up. 
And they end that traditional match with South Carolina and the Gamecocks. Always a good one. First down for Glennon. Steps up in the pocket, throws over the middle. It's complete inside the five. Owen Spencer carries it down to the two. It wouldn't let him in. With you 10 know, seconds left. Left wanted that score. I'll tell you who wants to score. Glennon wants to yeah. score. This is well deserved. Big game drive for Glennon, who stops the clock now with six. And the Boo Birds come out from Clemson. Well, they're more from Clemson, yeah. A lot of folks here from Clemson, South Carolina. They're enjoying the day. But they want this one to end to put it in the W column. What a tough weather to begin, but it ends up uh, really on the good foot. Last part of Ida finally got out of here. Clouds broke, sun came out. Great afternoon for football, and the fans are still enjoying it. That timeout, that 30 second timeout, got the Clemson Tiger fans really fired up. Six seconds left. Here's Glennon. They're bringing the house. Throws into the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Jarvis Williams. Glennon had a great drive. And orchestrated a touchdown. Four for six on that drive, Mike Glennon. Oh, we get to hit a wolf cry one more time. Look at the intensity. Look at the coach. Oh, man. You want to see intensity? Kevin Steele. See, that's what I love about coaches. Doesn't matter what the score is, it's the next possession. Going for two. Here's Glennon again. And this one's knocked down. Jamie Cummy knocks it down. He's six foot seven, and when he puts those arms up, that's formidable. What a day for C.J. Spiller. Take us through it, Doc. Well, Tim, he showed that he can pass it. Here, Dye gets the, the touchdown, and we talk about triple threat in our open. Here you see him with the bounce, sprint, hits the end zone, and then he shows the other dimension. That is that of a wide receiver. Coming out on a circle route, another catch and score for the great 28. 97 yards rushing, 48 receiving, 12 return. Touchdown every way you can imagine. Spectacular, and he certainly got the attention. You brought it up early, Doc. They kicked away from him early, and it really changed the complexion of the game. Well, he's legitimate. I mean, it's he should have been mentioned far earlier than this. He's, he's worthy of the Heisman. Is he your pick? You know, I haven't examined everyone. Tim Tebow, to me, is speak for himself. Young man at Alabama, the running back, is fantastic. I mean, you have to really take a serious approach. But I don't know if any of those guys do as much as he does for his team to win. He does everything but play defense. Well, Tebow, you're right, is the most valuable player on the number one team in the country. Spiller coming on strong. I'm not sure that Keenum can do anything to help himself right now. McCoy coming off his best game of the season. Mark Ingram, it's hard to believe an Alabama player has never won the Heisman, but Mark Ingram's in the hunt. Yeah, well, what do they say about team ball? You know, they, they, they their goal is to put the best team out. Did they have, Tim, was the Heisman, did they have it when you played? Absolutely, absolutely. They only dressed 25 guys back then. The other 25 could dress themselves. Clemson beats NC State 43-23. You've been watching exclusive coverage of Atlantic Coast Conference football on Raycom Sports from Raleigh, North Carolina. So long, everybody.